hello. Uh, we're back. We're looking at Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, so this one's coded BRK-B. Uh, so there's an A and B. I think B is the uh, more valued stock uh, because it's a, a lower sales price. And so that's why we're following this one as opposed to A. Um, and so this is, again, this is a, a value stock, at least in my opinion. And so it's on my list of stocks I want to kind of just keep track of. And so we're going to just kind of monitor it for a little while and hopefully add some in as time passes, as we find like good buying opportunities. Uh, so uh, what we're doing is we're just marking out uh, what seems to be like the low, uh, the potential buy point, sell points. Um, this one so far is already slightly different. I'm treating this one slightly different than others because uh, most of the other companies I've tracked, there's there's been an extreme low down here in 2020. And then more recently, like in the third, fourth quarter of 22, a lot of the stocks that I've been following, they have another extreme low where it's either very close to their March 20 low, or it's lower than that, or it's, you know, it's very close. And oftentimes it might even be lower, uh, but there have been a couple. And I, as far as I know, I'm treating them very similar where if something where if a stock is shaped more like this where it doesn't come back that low i more or less just treat it as what's it been doing in the past say year and a half or like has there is there a new kind of stability within this company and for me it does seem like there's new stability at around 264 and so that's going to be our new uh ultimate low point and then we also have 361 as its ultimate uh, sell point or, uh, you know, just its ultimate peak. And um, so we're also going to add in a green line in terms of what do I think is a good time to buy. Uh, it looks like it's going to be pretty rare to find this. But we, this is just what I'm seeing today. So chances are I'm not going to be buying this one anytime soon uh, as much as I'd like to but the buy point seems to be about 274 and I'm just basing that off of uh, ever since I got above that 264 low back here in like April 21 and actually passed our our buy point of 274 in about May or late April 21 it just acted like support for multiple weeks uh, I would say honestly like half a year from like June to December of 21, it really acted as a strong support line. And then all of a sudden it shot off uh, all to its all time high in April of 22. It actually broke below that line in June of 22, only for a week and then it came back up. It cracked it again in September of 22 for a couple weeks, nearly a month, and then it hasn't touched it since. So for now, if I'm looking at a sell point, I think right around here makes sense. Uh, and the reason I say that is because uh, it acted as a resistance line for roughly uh, two about two months it acted as a resistance line back in early 22. It didn't want to go above that mark. It did, but then came crashing back down. And then it danced around that line for another couple weeks. It did finally pop. And then it came crashing down, acted again as resistance. And then, I don't know, must have had bad earnings in the second quarter because it came crashing down. And then more recently, in about November, November through, we'll say January. So November of 22 through January of 23, again, it was acting as resistance. So I feel like if you can get it close to that 321 mark, and I'm gonna fill in my chart, 321, that would be a 
good time to sell out of this. So it's it's a decent range. You know, if you can get it at 274 and sell out at 321, that's that's about $50 per share, so not bad. And then we're going to add in one final line and make it blue as our fair value line. And this one this one's really just kind of uh, an opinion, you know, what, what you think it is. And so I'm going to mark it out about 295. I'm putting it there because it acted as a resistance line from about May of 21 to about December of 21. So for like seven months, it acted as a resistance line. Then it kind of acted as support for a number of months uh, between like its major peak back here in like April of 22. And then it danced around that line more recently in August of 22. And then it kind of, right now it's kind of actually acting as support in its most recent, I would say December of 22 till today kind of acting as support so that might be almost like the new buy point so the, possibly consider adding in 290 at around 295 uh, we'll kind of wait and see because it's right in that range I would say if anything it's kind of close to a sell point so that's kind of how I'm gonna mark this as a potential uh, sell slash short moment uh, if it does continue to rise to like 322 once again uh, the worry for me would be if it not only goes above 321 but then continues to rise to like 361 which obviously it's done at once it can happen again it's just more recently anytime it's gotten close to that or even touched that mark of 321 it just rejects it and so, again, if we kind of look at these buy and sell line, not much activity. It's like nothing's like crazy big in terms of this one. It seems like it's just trading fairly. So, like, if we look at this green line, it really, there was a decent amount of buying when it got to this low. Um, if we look at a decent sell point, happened here and right now it's just it clearly thinks that right now is pretty fair so you maybe we actually need to kind of change our thinking about this one and consider 295 the the buy point uh, i'm still going to keep in 274 because i feel like that is like a great time to buy for this stock but i think how i'm going to write it out is if we can get this one at 295 or lower, that is the time to buy, and 321 seems to be the time to sell. So uh, by all means, share your opinion in the comments. Let me know what you think is a good buy point, sell point. Uh, and you know, if you just have news about this stock coming up or recent events, share that too. And uh, we'll just kind of work on this together. So uh, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.